With over thousands of supplements, it can be difficult to know which ones are right for your PCOS. I get it, when I was diagnosed with PCOS, I had no idea which supplements I should be taking. So, because I understand how overwhelming it can be seeing all these supplements and, you know, this question, which, you know, piece of supplements, which one should I take? It's a frequently asked question. I get this very often. So in this video, I want to delve into it. Hi, my name is Despina Pavlu and I'm the founder of Pieces Oracle, where I talk about all things piece of and how to reverse it naturally. So if that's what you're looking for, then consider subscribing. In this video, I have distilled everything I have learned and picked out the best 12 piece of supplements that can help you naturally reverse the symptoms of PCOS. So that's all coming up in this video. Before we get into that, I want to say thank you to our sponsors, Let's Get Checked, but more on that at the end of the video. So let's get into those 12 piece of supplements that have been scientifically proven to help with PCOS symptoms. Number one, magnesium. Magnesium is a mineral that is required for various functions in the body. It is used to manage cortisol and blood sugar levels, as well as help muscle and nerve function. So one of the benefits of magnesium is that it helps increase insulin sensitivity. So women with PCOS produce too many male hormones. One of the biggest drivers, one of the biggest causes of PCOS is insulin resistance. Now research has shown that magnesium can help improve insulin resistance by increasing insulin sensitivity. Now, key tip here is when you're buying magnesium, make sure you're buying magnesium glycinate because this form is more absorbable in the body. The second one is ashwagandha. Now, you may have come across ashwagandha before. It's a very popular adaptogenic herb. The reason why ashwagandha is a very well-recommended supplement for PCOS is because it helps lower cortisol levels. Chronic stress is yet another possible cause for the high male hormones in women with PCOS. Ashwagandha has been shown to lower cortisol levels and help individuals better manage their stress. The third supplement is inositol. This is another very popular supplement and I'm pretty sure you've come across it through your research. So inositol is a substance that's often referred to as vitamin B8. There are nine forms of inositol, but neo-inositol and decarinositol are the most common in the PCOS community. So as I mentioned, lowering high blood sugar levels is important for PCOS women who suffer from insulin resistance. So here's the thing, inositol has the ability to act like insulin and to help it work better. Another great benefit of inositol is that it has been shown to improve fertility. Now, PCOS is one of the leading causes of infertility in women. A study found that taking neonositol alone or in combination with the Cairo inositol can help restore ovulation and improve fertility in PCOS women. Now, the inositol I personally use and recommend is ovacetol. This is because it is a combination of both neonositol and the Cairo inositol found in the body's ratio of 40 to 1. Such a combination is more beneficial than taking either alone. It has been shown to reduce free testosterone, fasting insulin, and increase insulin sensitivity in women with PCOS. If you would like to find out more about inositol for PCOS and why I personally choose and recommend ovacetol, click the card here to read my full in-depth blog post about inositol. Or click the link in, my, in the description box. And if you're interested in purchasing your very own ovacetol, use the code 144N11 to save $10 off your order. The fourth supplement is omega-3. Omega-3 fatty acids are a type of fat and a healthy addition to a PCOS diet. One of the benefits of supplementing with omega-3 is that it helps lower inflammation. Now, research shows most women with PCOS suffer from chronic inflammation, and this can be caused for by various things, including insulin resistance and high cortisol levels. And then this leads to high male hormones. So this must be addressed. The inflammation must be lowered. Omega-3 has anti-inflammatory properties that can help support the body and lower the inflammation. As I mentioned, women with PCOS have high levels of male hormones and they also have irregular menstrual cycles. But research shows that omega-3 can help reduce high testosterone and regulate the menstrual cycle. A study found omega-3 
taking three grams a day may help reduce testosterone levels, but also regulate the menstrual cycle in pieces women. But the researchers state that more and longer studies must be done to reveal the full effectiveness of omega-3 supplementation. The third benefit of omega-3 is that it can help increase sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG, and help with hirsutism. Women with PCOS have lower levels of SHBG, and this causes an increase in free testosterone and therefore the PCOS symptoms. But here is where omega-3 can help. Results from a study show non-obese PCOS women who took 1,500 milligrams of omega-3 a day for six months increased their SHBG levels, but also reported an improvement in their hirsutism. So the increase in sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG, helped to reduce free testosterone and improve symptoms of PCOS like hirsutism, which is excess hair growth. Supplement number five is vitamin D. Vitamin D is needed for the absorption of calcium, magnesium and phosphate, and it's also needed for strong bones and muscles. But unfortunately, a lot of women with PCOS are deficient in vitamin D. One of the benefits and one of the ways vitamin D can help with PCOS is by increasing insulin sensitivity. A study found women who took vitamin D increased their insulin sensitivity and lowered their male hormones. The second benefit of vitamin D for PCOS is that it can help with hair loss. Now, hair loss is it's a symptom someone with PCOS experience. Researchers found a link between deficiency in vitamin D3 and female pattern hair loss. So supplementing with vitamin D may help improve this symptom and help with PCOS hair loss. The third benefit of supplementing with vitamin D for PCOS is that it helps lower inflammation. As I, as I mentioned previously, Women with PCOS suffer from high levels of inflammation. So researchers have found a link between low levels of vitamin D and high levels of inflammation in the body. So as I said, taking vitamin D may help lower levels of inflammation and the symptoms of PCOS. The sixth supplement is vitamin C. Now vitamin C is needed for the formation of collagen and for a healthy immune system, as well as for the maintenance of bones and teeth. One of the benefits of vitamin C is that it is a source of antioxidants. Women with PCOS have increased levels of oxidative stress, meaning there is an imbalance of free radicals. These cause the body harm. But get this, vitamin C is an antioxidant that can help protect the body from free radicals. The second benefit of supplementing with vitamin C is that it supports the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands contain high levels of vitamin C, but when we are stressed, we release a lot of vitamin C along with stress hormones. So this then causes vitamin C levels to become severely depleted. And the more stress the body is under, the more vitamin C your body uses. And when your body is severely deficient in vitamin C, your adrenals panic and release even more cortisol. So including vitamin C in your diet will help replenish low levels and may also help with hormonal and blood sugar imbalances. The seventh supplement is chromium. Chromium is a trace mineral all humans need in very small quantities. It helps the body's metabolism and it helps to use glucose correctly. One of the great benefits of chromium for PCOS is that it helps reduce insulin resistance. A study found PCOS women who took chromium picolinate a form of chromium at a dose of 200 to 1000 mcg a day improve their insulin levels so chromium may be an effective piece of supplement that may help insulin work better and in turn reduce insulin resistance the eighth supplement is curcumin curcumin is the active ingredient found in turmeric curcumin has anti-inflammatory properties which means it can help lower inflammation in the body the ninth supplement is zinc Zinc is a mineral found throughout the body. It is needed for a healthy immune system and to help with the breakdown of carbohydrates. One of the benefits of supplementing with zinc is that it helps support ovulation. Now the high male hormones can interrupt the natural ovulation cycle, but supplementing with zinc can help encourage ovulation. This is because zinc can help the pituitary gland to increase the release of follicle stimulating hormone, FSH. FSH stimulates the growth of follicles in the ovary and encourages ovulation. The second benefit of zinc for PCOS 
is that it can help with hair loss. A study found the group of pieces women who took 220 milligrams of zinc sulfate for eight weeks showed an improvement in hair loss. The 10th supplement is NAC to cysteine, NAC. Now this is probably another supplement I'm sure you have come across through your research. NAC comes from an amino acid called L-cysteine. NAC and L-cysteine is important for building and replenishing antioxidants. It is also said to help with fertility, detoxification and brain health. One of the great benefits of NAC is that it's said to help lower testosterone levels and increase insulin sensitivity. A study found women with NAC had increased their insulin sensitivity and lowered their testosterone levels. Now the 11th supplement is DIM. DIM is a phytonutrient and an antioxidant. It has been shown to help remove excess estrogen from the body. Women with PCOS tend to have higher estrogen levels because of the low progesterone levels. So finding ways to lower estrogen and supporting progesterone levels is important for hormonal balance. And this is where DIM comes in. So the liver breaks down estrogen in two different forms of estrogen. These can be good and protective for the body or they can be bad and carcinogenic to the body. In order for estrogen to be eliminated from the body, it must be broken down into the good form of estrogen. This form is inactive in the body. And that's what DIM does. DIM helps to increase the production of this good estrogen. But as with all supplements, make sure that you consult a medical professional before you purchase or even use DIM. The 12th and final supplement that I'll be discussing in this video is folate. Folate, also known as vitamin B9, is needed for the creation of DNA and for cell division. So one of the benefits of folate for PCOS is that it can help lower high blood sugar levels. Results from a study showed PCOS women who supplemented with 5 mg a day of folate for 8 weeks improved their blood sugar and cholesterol levels. And the second benefit of folate is that it can help lower inflammation and oxidative stress. Researchers found 5 mg of folate lowered inflammation and oxidative stress in women with PCOS. So there you have it. Those are the 12 PCOS supplements that have been scientifically proven to help PCOS. But to wrap up, and an important final note that I want to say is that all these 12 PCOS supplements have been shown to help improve PCOS symptoms, but that does not mean that now you have to go buy it all those 12 pieces of those supplements for your PCOS. This is because PCOS is not one condition. There are multiple types of PCOS, which you can read more if you click this card here, where I outline all the different types of PCOS and their root causes, which I highly recommend you do before you change anything in your diet or your lifestyle, as the first step I always recommend. Secondly, there are, it's really important to get certain, um, blood work done to identify what vitamins and minerals you actually are deficient in to check, to check your gut health also because you could be buying all of these supplements or you could be buying a specific supplement that you believe that you need but because your gut health is not working optimally it's, it's not healthy you're not absorbing all those vitamins and minerals those nutrients to be helping your PCOS and it just all that money and you know all those good nutrients are just going to waste because your gut is not um, assimilating it well, it's not absorbing it, it's not using it and sending it the body to be used. So the key thing I want to stress here is that before you buy any supplement, your supplements must be targeted to address your root cause. We all are individuals, we all have different root causes, so they must be targeted to be addressing your specific hormonal imbalance because otherwise you could be taking one supplement said to be good for PCOS but it's not suitable for you or your type and in turn it could be making your hormonal imbalance and your symptoms a lot worse and this could be very stressful and frustrating because you're taking all these supplements you're doing what you read and what you saw to be necessary but it's impacting you because it's not the supplement for you it's just not what you personally need now i have a full in-depth article 
delving into all of these pieces of supplements on the pieces oracle blog and within that blog post i also delve into how to go about choosing the right supplements because you could buy a specific supplement that can that can help you with your pieces of symptoms but unfortunately not all supplements on the market are pure and what i mean by this is some ingredients may be poor quality or the product may contain additives and the quality of the supplement is very important for the absorption in the body and for your health you don't want to be taking a supplement that contains all these additives and has been not made with good quality ingredients and putting that into your body it's like eating food that contains a bunch of additives and hormones and antibiotics and you're putting that in the body it's just the same with taking a supplement. You have to make sure that it's high quality and from a trusted brand. But I go through all of this in the, the blog post called The Peace With Supplements, The Ultimate Guide. I delve into the supplements and I delve into how to find the right supplements. And lastly, including supplements in your diet can help, but it's not enough. Achieving hormonal balance and reversing peace with requires a holistic approach. It is important that you are eating a healthy whole food diet, exercising regularly, the right exercise for your PCOS, and you're managing your stress, sleeping, your mindset is right, everything, it requires a holistic approach. So don't just focus on supplements because you can't out supplement a bad diet. But before we go, I want to say a big thank you to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. Now, as you may know, I speak a lot about getting into the root cause of your PCOS. And hormonal testing is one of the best ways of finding out your root cause and type of PCOS. Now, many women do not get the PCOS testing they need, whether it's because their health provider is not very supportive or because they purely do not have the time to go and visit their doctor. That is why I'm excited to announce the partnership with Let's Get Checked. Let's Get Checked provides you with easy, accessible, at-home testing and medical consultations without ever having to leave your home. The way it works is super simple. You choose a test kit online, Let's Get Checked and delivers it to you in discrete packaging with next day delivery. You then activate your test, collect your sample in the morning and return it using the prepaid shipping label provided. From there, Let's Get Checked reviews your sample in their lab and shares your results with you via your secure online account within two to five days. It is super quick, seamless and your results are confidential. Once your results are available, they will be reviewed by a physician. A nurse will then contact you for a consultation over the phone. Finally, in some cases, the physician will provide prescription for you to the pharmacy of your choosing. I believe everyone should have access to hormone testing and Let's Get Checked makes that possible. It's never been this simple to stay on top of your hormonal health. To visit Let's Get Checked and use the code PCOS20 for 20% off your order. That's PCOS20 for 20% off your order. Your health should never take a back seat. Like this video if you liked it, share it, comment and subscribe for plenty more videos. Catch you in the next one.